Whoa, did you see that? Those Android games are running on to Windows 11. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Android games, Android apps into your Windows 11. So let's get started. Now here is the thing. Many people commented like why I didn't show the process of installing in my previous video. Well, to get this kind of a stuff up and running, you know, takes a lots of experimentation and that kind of stuff. So obviously, how to install process and particularly the exact process which will work flawlessly i was still testing out so i didn't upload it the how to part could have told you the name of the application or emulator whatever the thing was but then it could have generated lots of questions lots of doubts in your minds how to run this so i decided like let's do a separate video in which i will tell everything regarding this so here we go, let's run Android 11 on Windows 11. When you think about Android, well, the backbone of the Android is Google actually. Google developed a really amazing tool for Android development that is Android Studio. Now making things simple, let me directly go into how you can set up an Android emulator on Android Studio in which you can run casual apps as well as you can game on it. Let's see how we can do this. So the download link is given in the description below. You can click on this and here we go. Just accept the terms and download will begin. So there we go. That's about the download. Moving over to the installation process. Well, it's a uh, fairly simple. You have to click couple of next and there we go. You can see it is installed successfully. And there we go. Downloading few components and our Android studio is up and running. Now here in the configure in the SDK manager, you can see uh, there are lots of Android versions available right from the Android 1 to Android 11 every version is available over here so compatibility won't be an issue so going into the configure tab again AVD manager you can set up your virtual devices and you can see one is set it up right over here by default so I click on play and there we go so here is our Android device and you can see it is booting up now it's basically like a real phone so you can do everything with this virtual device so here we go our device is booted up now so there it is now let's swipe and see how the device works and you can see it is working flawlessly so there are all the android apps available over here but there is one essential app missing that is play store now i tried side loading the play store onto this avd device but you know it doesn't work like that so I need to set up my virtual device so click over here on create your virtual device and there you can see these are a couple of options like pixel XL, pixel 4 XL these are all hardwares available and with the play store icon you can see those are the ones with play store now click on next here you need to select your uh, system image that is Android version so you can select any of the Android version that you need here Android R is Android 11 so these are the recommended images by the way if you want to see x86 images you can see it over here so here in the android r i'm going to download these components for the system image so here we go after the download completes let me install my virtual device okay my download is complete now let's set up a new virtual device so i'm going to select pixel 4 xl right below that you can set up the resolution also the android image and here you can see the emulated performance graphics it's a uh, hardware and software these are the both options so i'm going to select automatic as of right now and uh, you can see there are a couple of little details it's like portrait landscape also camera and storage ram and you can basically tweak every little detail but for now i'm not gonna play with those uh, anyway let's click on finish and there we go you can see now the virtual device is created now you can simply launch the emulator by clicking over here and there we go we got our device booted up the device should run android 11 and uh, play store should be integrated in there so let's see so there is our pixel device now it's up and running now let's see oh my god you can already see the play store is there so let me get this in center and there we go our play store is also working flawlessly so I just need to sign in and basically I have access to whole lots of apps.
now remember guys microsoft's not gonna give you the play store support so this is gonna be the great option to run the play store in your windows 11 by the way uh, microsoft is gonna use amazon store so yeah now clicking over here onto the three dots you can access all the settings so here in the displays basically you can select your display resolution so you can do 720p 1080 4k so yeah basically everything is available over here but you just have to look for it that's the thing by the way you can also turn on dual display mode so it's like a galaxy pool or something like that so it's uh, really unique in my opinion and you can do very amazing level of stuff with this thing i think blue stacks will not give you such a detail access so Please hit that like guys, this is working flawless. Let's say I want to rotate my device, you can click onto this toolbar and there we go. You can rotate in any orientation that you want. Now you can scale the display as big as you want. Also there is option to disable the frame of the device so it will give you a really nice look. It looks pretty similar to the windows implementation showed in the demonstration now let me tell you about the performance well guys you can already see how smooth the gameplays are and uh, the graphics are set it on to the ultra settings pretty much in every game i found it is working flawlessly so there is no glitches no problems whatsoever by the way in my previous video i have showed you how it utilizes your uh, graphics card in my case, I'm using GTX 1650 and it is utilizing it pretty well. This is just the beginning because you can do lots of stuff onto Android Studio. But I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. Please do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.